How are you guys look for here and welcome to the FIFA 19 player view and today I'm going to be doing the 91 rated flashback SBC Ika Casillas. He's got a very nice looking card and he did cost me in the region of 15,000 coins to complete his SBC and then the five games that I played him with, obviously he didn't score me any goals or get me any assists but he does have a two stoic foot as well as one star skill move. Then moving along into his in-game stats, his main standout stats are going to be his 91 diving, his 90 reflexes, his 90 positioning and finally his 88 handling and I did have the shield chemistry star applied to this flashback back Ike Casillas that increases his kicking his reflexes and his speed all very significantly and I have to say off the bat do the SBC because from scratch on Xbox is going to cost you 71,000 coins and PlayStation 65,000 coins in return for doing so obviously you're given the flashback SBC 91 rated Ike Casillas which is fantastic but also on top of that you are given a mega pack and a prime gold players pack to lower the cost even further this SBC to around probably 60,000 coins on Xbox and 50,000 coins on PlayStation and obviously a lot of you guys are probably going to have team of the weeks 83 rated 84 rated already stored in your club and if you do, you might be able to do this SBC for absolutely free. I did it for 15,000 coins. Once I sold my Courtois uh, on Monday after Team of the Year, once his price starts to rise again, I would have done this SBC for free. Technically for profit, which is absolutely ridiculous. And um, yeah, off the bat, do the SBC. In game, he feels pretty decent, don't get me wrong. Obviously... I have a big problem. Well, not a massive problem with goalkeepers, but for example, I've used 83 Kepa for over 100 games of FIFA 19, and I loved him. And I've used this 91 rated Ika Casillas, and there doesn't feel to be a massive difference. Obviously, he is a better card, but you know, there's not a massive difference between a lot of gold goalkeepers, in my opinion, in FIFA. But even so, he still felt pretty decent in the game. Obviously, for me, his first pro is going to be his diving 91 diving, absolutely fantastic. Did make a lot of good one-on-one -on -one saves as well, I have to say. Very, very good. And also his reflexes probably were my favourite part of this card. Obviously with the shield chem style as well, he goes go to 99 reflexes, which is absolutely insane. Made quite a few double saves for me as well. He's able to kind of, you know, make the initial save and then get back up really quickly to be able to make a second save, which obviously shows how good his reflexes were. And then um, in general, I have to say I was very impressed with him. Obviously, his kicking is not great, but I don't really use kicking. I just usually throw the ball out. Handling's decent. Positioning as well at 90 is obviously very nice as well. And even his speed is insane for a goalkeeper at 67. And obviously with the shield, he's going into the mid 70s for uh, his uh, acceleration and sprint speed, which is obviously fantastic. And um for me, though, obviously, it does feel good in-game, but also you've got to think of the potential future for this SPC. Let's say in two months' time, there might be, like, another big icon SPC, for example, like a Hernan Crespo or, like, a Paolo Maldini or something like that, and you're going to be able to go and put this guy into the SPC to really lower the cost of him. I think that could be very useful, but in-game as well, it does feel very, very good, and I, have, and I have to say, very easy to link it, obviously, to a lot of Spanish teams, to prime icons that you may already have in your centre-back positions, and uh, in general, I think this SPC definitely is worth doing. But anyway, guys, that is going to finish up this play. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys guys later.